You, oh, shit. You're gonna do it? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Just, just watch. I'm gonna look at it first. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm glad I looked at it because that ledge right there. Here we go. Welcome to the Unpavement. I'm Jeremy McGee, and I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. Things are a little weird right now. So I'm here in the Phoenix, Arizona area, camping at McDowell Mountain Regional Park with my good friends, Sean and Susie Murphy. Hey. Hey. Something happens to Susie here. She used to race here back in the day, and for some reason she turns pro. We can't even keep up. We're calling her Fast Pants Susie. And you know what we mean about that. Susie is the executive director for San Diego Mountain Bike Association, and Sean is the best man on the planet. <laughs> we were camping last night, and there was definitely not some social distancing coming from their tent. <laughs> <laughs> for the route, we took granite to Pemberton, Access the long loop about halfway through via the Pemberton Wash, took that the rest of the way around to the staging area where we had lunch and messed around on the skills course, then took part of the competitive loop, the Pemberton Wash, Pemberton, and Granite back to the campsite. You can see I started my GPS late, so it's probably more like 15 miles. All right, here's the trailhead for Granite right out of our campsite. See, it's all double track and nice and wide here. This is, this is so comfortable to ride here. You know, it's not anything gnarly or like super exciting, but it's beautiful. It's a good workout. I try to go a little further. Here we go out of frame a little bit. McDowell is really special because it has these competitive tracks. So there's three. There's a, the longer loop, the sport loop, and the technical loop. Uh, and they're all directional. And whoever the faster trail user is has the right of way. We're coming into the long loop kind of in the middle. Uh, it's 7.7 .7 miles if you do the whole thing. It's going to take us around this way, and we're going to end up back at the staging area. So you're telling me we're going to earn our beers right now? Yeah. Maybe a little narrow. All right, we'll see. No problem so far. Cactus. I collected a friend. I collected a, a friend. Look at this was my bike. Look at that, so this must be exact like 36 or uh, 33. Look, my tires are right on the edge. Let's see if I can get enough traction to get up this. My left wheel's gonna hit that ledge and that's what's gonna stop me. Got it. Yeah! I love these tires. Oh, I'm gonna hit that speed. Never. See you later. <laughs> Fast pants. Fast pants. <laughs> All right, I got a little cactus in my finger. Oh, that one. That one's in there, dude.
Yeah, you got that one. This one's really in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull hard. Yeah, be a man, bro. Be a man. Be a man. Ah! ah! There's the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, okay. This is a little bit of an off-camber issue. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I got it. There's a sign with a bike going down a hill. What does that mean? Huh, mellow. <laughs> That's scary. That's scary because I don't know what's in those bushes. There's a rock or something. Oh, there's a little off camber right here. face bro <laughs> can we cheers. cheers and during social distancing yes so we'll, we'll be like wait don't let fingers touch mm. that's delicious A little pb and j oh that's delicious did you put my bike in the middle setting right. it's better i'd leave it Oh. All right, let's do this. This is the staging area for the technical loop, the sport loop, and the cross country loop. But there's this kind of skills area over here. There's a jump line, a wall ride, kind of a pump track, flow trail and like a little skills section. So we're gonna go play around. <laughs> okay, skinny. I tried to do this teeter-totter last year, but that's, that's really high to have my wheel up that high. I won't let you fall, bro. I won't let you fall, bro. I won't let you fall, bro. Got it. There it is. Woo! I was thinking it might be better if you went slow, bro. You want me? I kind of want to try again. Like super slow, though. Let's go super slow. You know, have yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can make it through here. What do you think? Barely. Are you gonna? Are you gonna send one of these? You can do the bigger one. Yes! <laughs> All right, we're just doing a section of the sport loop. Just back to uh, link up to the trail, back to the campsite. Me and Sean are going out for round two. Yeah. We're gonna go ride a trail called Bluff Trail. Sean scoped it out yesterday, day before yesterday, and thinks that I will have a blast on it. Also, if we feel up to it, we're gonna try to get a lap on the technical loop, which has some fun drops and some fun techie stuff. Here we go. For the route, 
We climbed up Bluff Trail all the way to the top, then downhilled it, took Granite and Pemberton to the road, fast-tracked it to the technical loop, took that about halfway through, and then headed back to the campsite. This ended up being about a 30-mile day. What a great way to escape all the craziness. All right, we made it to the top. There's a nice little lookout spot and we are gonna bomb down Bluff Trail right now. Oh, this is insane. So beautiful. Eee! Oh my gosh, amazing. This is Green Valley off to the left. It's beautiful. Okay, I gotta pay attention. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> I almost lost it right there. All right, that was Bluff Trail. Okay, we are back at the area that we had lunch. That's the picnic table we had lunch at. This is where the trailhead for the technical loop is. Let's do this. We are chasing sunlight. Here's the trailhead. Okay, oh, yeah. here's one of the drops right here. It's, it's semi-rollable. Yeah, I think there's another one right here. Yeah, a, this one's a little bigger, I think. Oh you, shit! You're gonna do it? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Huh? Just, just watch. I'm gonna look at it first. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm glad I looked at it because that ledge right there. Here we go. Mellow, dude. Oh. Did you do it? See, it's not bad, huh? It looks scarier from the top. Okay, here comes our pinch point. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got this. I got this, dude. This is no problem, actually. Yeah, dude. We are at the top of the technical loop. We're about to drop in. We got a fun little downhill right here. All right, let's do this. Rattlesnake ring. I forgot about this spot. This is definitely a problem spot that's way off camber. I definitely need a spot right here. Yeah. Right here is what's gonna get. Yeah, ready? Here we go. No problem. No problem? Yeah.
dude, you gotta, they, they, they put you on a burro and take you there and the trails are gnarly, dude. It's scary. Let's go. Sounds it, awesome to me. It's scary though, on the burros. He's scared of those burros. I was scared, have, dude. Those burros have done it thousands of times though. They yeah. Know. They they're really it. sure-footed and stuff, but dude, they're like sliding down like these little <laughs> ravines and shit. And you're going, oh shit, and you're just holding. <laughs> <laughs> I go, this is scarier in mountain Move the bike. Rigs. Dude, uh, speaking of that, I had a weird encounter in the bathroom. What? At Circle K in oh, uh, Gia Ben. What? Well, like that doesn't. Some happen. guy came into the stall with me. And he, and he hands me a, a, a wrapped bar of dial soap. And I'm like, uh, no thanks, man. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Dude. What you got there? These Zoic chamois. Look, I got the same one. the best ones, dude. Easy access Easy to your access. junk, which is vital when you're out on the trail. Best invention ever. You do yoga, bro? <laughs> Namaste.